Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topic Show Patches. Tawa Aji Shefini, who is popularly known as Monkele, excitedly celebrates today as her husband becomes an American citizen. It was in November 2018 that Tawa Aji Shefini quit Spinster Wood when her boyfriend proposed to her at Rhode Island in New York. And of course she said yes. Those who witnessed the surprise proposal that they included the Yuba actresses, Sheyedu and Wumito Riola, and in February 2019, amidst intense focus on the Nigerian elections and the disappointment of its postponement while life was still going on, and quite happily for most people. It was during this period that this award-winning Yoruba actress, Tawa Jishwini, got married to a love, Jamomeyo, in Ibadan, part of your state. And today, this couple are celebrating again. Tawa took to official social media platform to share this news. And in our words, Congratulations on your USA citizenship, my beloved husband. You put a lot of time, energy, and heart into achieving this goal, and you deserve to feel very proud of yourself. Wishing you peace, freedom, and a bright future. Congratulations on achieving citizenship in the United States of America. God bless America. Well, we are also joining in to celebrate with this family. We're saying congratulations to Tawa Ajishifini and her husband. Jamu Mayo. For those who may want to know more about the Juba Chester Wajishifini, please stay with us. It was not until Tawa Jishifini got married to Jamu Mayo that she relocated to the United States of America. Prior to the time she joined the movie industry, Tawa was a personal assistant to the popular actress Funke Akindele Belu. Even though she is Tawa Jishifini, a lot of people also know her as Monkele. She was born on May 7th and she's originally from Oshun State. She's the last child in a family of four. Tawa is also among the actresses who do not share their year of birth. And she was still living with her parents when she ventured into the movie industry. For education, she attended Poly Children's School in Eleleye in Eleyele Ibadan. This was before she proceeded to Our Lady of Apostles Secondary School in Ibadan for her secondary school education. While she was waiting for admission to study theatre at the university, she already ventured into acting. He chose the course because she had already mastered the practical aspect of acting. Prior to fame, as mentioned earlier, she was a personal assistant to the popular Nollywood actress Funke Akindele Bilu. On her journey to the movie industry, Tawa said initially she didn't know that she could act or even become an actress. She had always desired to be a doctor right from their childhood days. But things took a different turn. When she was in secondary school, watching Yuba movies made her fall in love with acting. It was specifically the movie titled Ori, which was produced, which was produced by Muiwa Ademola that motivated Tawa to make a decision to join the movie industry. With that determination, one thing led to another, and she eventually found herself in the movie industry. She joined Razak Olaiwala with Ubagogo's film school in the year 2003. For her models in the movie industry, she has two of them, Funke Akindele Belo, a former boss, and Femi Adebayo. On Sex for Rules, what Tawa mentioned in an interview that she never experienced such. According to her, she takes all the men in the movie industry as her fathers and her brothers, while they also take her as their daughter or little sister. On parental support, Tawa has her parents support 100%. But then, her mother gave her a condition that she had to sign an agreement before going into the movie industry. According to the agreement, Tawa will never misbehave or bring shame to the family. That is the reason why Tawa is very conscious of whatever she does because she is not ready to violate or go beyond a boundary in the movie industry. For her definition of style, for Tawa, style encompasses a lot of things. As an actress and someone that is into movie production, one has to be very conversant with fashion. It is needed, especially when one is on set, because your style or mood of dressing has to conform with your role. And she also said that she also understands that fashion entails... And she also said that she understands what fashion entails, because she is into costuming. Style is something that women should not take with levity, as it is one of the things that portrays women well amidst people. For Tawa Jishefini, a beauty regimen, she is not so keen about regimen. For her choice of accessories, she is a freak for shoes, and she loves shoes to a fault. She can't do without them. She also wants to get more each time. And another accessory she likes is bags and the other one dangling earrings. This one is completer. On her opinion on toning, for her, she regards the idea as rubbish. She loves the way she has been created. In an interview, she revealed that I don't have any reason to tone my color. I have friends that tone, 
but as for me, it is a no go area. I cannot tune. On cosmetic surgery, in our words, I do not have a very good opinion on that because to me it is arrant nonsense. God has created me well, and I cannot afford to do such. No matter how wealthy I am in the future, I will never try it. I think there are a lot of other fashion trends I can opt for that people will cherish on me that damage my precious skin. On tattoo, these are things I cannot do. That is a no-go area as well. As I said earlier, I'm not a fashion freak. I always go crazy because I want to impress myself or people. I love to remain simple and elegant. I don't have any tattoo in any part of my body, either in my obvious or in my sensitive parts, except for costumes. Any tattoo you see on me is a costume and not a permanent tattoo. It is for the role I'm given to play. On hair and nails, she goes for hairstyles that suit her and she likes them long. For her nails, she loves to keep them clean and fix them once in a while. Her greatest physical assets. In her words, I cherish every part of my body because I definitely know I'm perfectly created by God. I would say my boobs are my greatest physical assets. Despite the fact that I have a small stature, I'm endowed with it. In a past interview, she was asked how she handles her male admirers. And in her opinion, she can never do without her male admirers. So she handles them with care. Because in this world of ours, one has to be careful with men, especially as a celebrity. You cannot shy away from the fact that men will always knock at your door and want to be your fan or friend. But then you have to be very careful and be able to define your relationship with them. So then she handles them with care and places them on a friendship level because she cannot have them. Meanwhile, she has more male friends than the female ones because the fact remains that male friends are reasonable, understanding, and more caring. They don't gossip like the females do, and she loves to be around them. This was what she revealed in an interview. On what she does not like, she revealed in an interview that she, because she has a very small stature, she hates it when people try to take her for granted because of her small stature. Tama says she's a very friendly person who loves to mingle with very good and intelligent people. She also respects people a lot for who they are. For her favorite fashion item, Tawa loves native attires and loves putting them on, even though she's not a fashion freak or a party freak. But then she's more comfortable in native and she goes for events. The main gist is that she loves putting on bogus things that would make her presence noticed or what she can never be called that wearing. She revealed in an interview that bikini is the least of the fashion items she can ever be caught dead wearing. She does not like it at all. It does not suit her. For her favorite color, her favorite color is red. So this is a little bit about the show by actress Tawa Adjishifini. We have come to the end of this episode. Where Tawa Adjishifini excitedly celebrates as her husband becomes an American citizen. We are also joining them to celebrate and we're saying congratulations to Tawa Adjishifini and her husband.